when the sun's radiation enter the earth, they strike the earth, most of the radiations are reflected back and some of them are absorbed by the blanket of air surrounding the earth known as atmosphere. So some gases like carbon dioxide and water, they trap some of the radiations of the sun. This leads to the heating of earth, an effect which is known as greenhouse effect. So the greenhouse effect is the heating of earth and its environment due to the radiations absorbed by gases like carbon dioxide and water vapors which are present in the atmosphere. So these gases which are present in the blanket of air surrounding the earth which is known as atmosphere, so they trap some of the sun's radiation in this atmosphere leading to the heating of earth and this effect is known as greenhouse effect. Along with carbon dioxide and water vapors, there's some other gases like oxides of nitrogen, water vapors, oxides of nitrogen, methane, ozone, chlorofluorocarbons, also known as CFCs. They also help in the absorption of radiation. And these gases which help in the absorption of sun's radiation are known as greenhouse gases. As they help in the greenhouse effect, these gases are known as greenhouse gases as they contribute towards the greenhouse effect. And the major sources of the gases like oxides of nitrogen, carbon dioxide, etc. is the burning of fossil fuels. So we get these gases, the major source being the burning of fuels. Now these days, greenhouse effect is used in a special type of farming known as greenhouse farming. It is mainly used in colder regions of the world. In places where sunlight is scarce, people have used the gases to trap the sunlight. These gases, as we have seen in greenhouse effect, they trap the radiations and they help in attaining the temperature which is required for the growth of plants. So the greenhouse effect is used in a special type of farming for some special plants, this type of farming is known as greenhouse farming. In this, the radiation is trapped by some gases which is used in these farms and they help to get the moderate temperature required for the growth of these plants. So the advantages of greenhouse effect. Had there been no gases to absorb the radiations of the sun, all the radiations falling on earth would have been reflected back and hence there would be no heat on the earth's surface that is it would be cold and barren which means no life would have been possible without greenhouse effect. So greenhouse effect is very important for the existence of life on earth. Another important use of greenhouse effect these days is in greenhouse farming. So the natural contribution of the different gases towards the greenhouse effect is as shown. So carbon dioxide contributes 50% to the greenhouse effect. Methane contributes 19%. CFC, that is chlorofluorocarbons, it contributes 17% and so on. Ozone, nitrous oxide and we have water. So they contribute to a different level to the greenhouse effect. Had they been contributing in these amounts, the greenhouse effect would have been very advantageous for us as it is used for the existence of life on earth. But nowadays, if you look at the contribution of these three major contributors, we have increased their use in our day-to-day -day life. For example, CFCs the chlorofluorocarbons, we use them as refrigerants. Carbon dioxide, this is produced as a result of burning of fuels, industrial emission and so on. Similarly, methane, it is a byproduct of biogas. So all the major contributors 
of the greenhouse effect had they been contributing in the natural amount greenhouse effect would have been advantageous for us but now we have increased the use of these gases and therefore this has led to an adverse effect how have they led to an adverse effect let's see because of the increased presence of these gases the earth is now getting globally warmed up this is known as global warming global warming is the heating of earth above the average temperature so due to the effect or the excess effect of these greenhouse gases the earth is getting heated to a temperature higher than the average temperature and this has led to global warming a very serious issue which is posing a great threat to the society so now what are the different detrimental effects of this global warming if the temperature continues to rise it will lead to a rise in sea level this is because as the temperature will continue to rise the glaciers and the ice caps they will melt down as they will melt the areas surrounding the seas they will face a threat of flooding so this global warming is is posing a threat to the society as it might lead to rise in sea level another problem associated with global warming is that as the temperature is increasing it might lead to change in seasonal patterns so the variations in which the temperature is rising in the earth it leads to the change in the seasonal pattern and this change in seasonal pattern is affecting the natural habitat of wildlife so the natural habitat of wildlife this also depends on the seasonal patterns so as the seasonal pattern because of the random and unexpected increase in the temperature as the seasonal pattern is changing that has led to a change in the habitat of wildlife so global warming is posing a threat to the existence of life on earth so there is an urgent need to find ways of reducing this global warming we know the the sources which are leading to this global warming the greenhouse gases when they are present in excess they lead to global warming so it's now time to minimize the use of these gases how can that be done that can be done by minimizing the use of automobiles we know automobile pollution is a major source of the greenhouse gases like oxides of nitrogen carbon monoxide and so on since they lead to global warming so we have to minimize the use of automobiles another way of reducing global warming is by planting more trees we know carbon dioxide is a major greenhouse gas so in order to decrease the amount of carbon dioxide we know that plants take in carbon dioxide during photosynthesis so by planting more trees we can reduce the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and by avoiding the excessive burning of fuels we know burning of fuels produces pollution it produces oxides of nitrogen oxides of carbon and so on these are the major greenhouse gases that contribute towards global warming so if we reduce or minimize the excessive burning of fuels we minimize the extent of these gases in the atmosphere and hence we minimize global warming so it's high time we work to reduce the presence of these greenhouse gases in the environment to save our mother earth